Hey, hey, hey guys, it's Old Man G here, back again with another video for Red Devil Studio, and we're here to talk about Odia Negalo. But before we get into the news, if you're new to the channel, please like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio, follow us on Twitter, United X, and smash that notification button for the latest Manchester United news. So, yes, Igalo. So, Igalo could stay the long term. This is basically coming from Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's pre match press conference against Manchester City. And obviously, for those who are listening, we uh, Manchester United 2, Manchester City 0. Um, have a look at our post match reactions regarding that and be reminded to comment below. But yes, in the, uh, the pre match conference of Manchester City, um, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has basically hinted at the fact that depending on how Agarlo uh, does, Odin Ugalo could potentially extend his stay at Manchester United beyond the end of the season. Now, currently, Odin Ugalo does not have a option to buy clause at, at the end of this OC loan spell. Um, but Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has not ruled out the possibility that they could extend Odin Ugalo's stay at Manchester United. And it's clear that Odin Ugalo wants to stay at Manchester United. He's a Manchester United fan at heart. He's wanted to play for the badge. He's even said recently that he'd give his blood to get more opportunities to play for Manchester United. And I have no doubt that that would be the case as well. Um, he's a fan favourite by a lot of fans who really want to see Odin Ugaro do well because they just see the passion and the support um, that he brings. That, to be honest, I feel that we've been missing some of the players. I think that, you know, um, a lot of players, it just seems that then we seem to be more interested in their social media accounts or profiles than really about fighting and having a, a, a desire to play for the badge, really. Um, and so, thankfully, um, Odio Nogalo seems to be a bit of a breath of fresh air, and I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only one that would want Odio Nogalo to stay long term. I think it gives us something different as well. Um, I'm still not 100% convinced that Martial and Rashford are true number nines. I think they're best off coming from the wing, coming off from the left. And I think it's important that we have at least two good players playing in um this in in the same position, Odio Nogalo gives us something different. He's got a very good uh, a good first touch. His link up play is good as well, and I feel given more opportunities as well as uh, um, given time to get back to fitness, he could be a very important player for Manchester United. So those are my thoughts. But that that's it. Let me know what you think, guys. Do you think Odio Nogalo should deserves at least um maybe a, a long term deal at Manchester United, um, especially given how he's performed so far? Let me know in the comments. So thanks for listening, guys. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, United X, and smash that notification button for the latest Manchester United news. Have a nice day, guys, and cheers.